All right, guys, welcome to episode two, uh, Minnesota Tactical here. Guess what came in the mail? I was a little nervous because I was sitting there watching the tracking like all morning and thinking, God, is this thing gonna show up? And lo and behold, my best friend, the UPS guy shows up. Not only that, but my black collar um, grip also showed up. So let's dig into this. This is gonna be an unboxing video and I'm gonna <laughs> excuse me gonna drop the action into the chassis so I gotta put my old man cheaters on because you know I'm getting old get my Gerber out Let's see if this bad boy looks like Let's see if we get any free stuff you know stickers every guy likes stickers I mean if you've got a safe if you've got a mug you like stickers. All right, order. Um, thank you for choosing MDT. We hope you enjoy using our products. This was packaged and picked by Zach. Let's see what this is. I'll put this stuff off to the side. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Chamber flag. You always need one of those. That's kind of a nice freebie. All right, here it is, my friends. Over. That's what she's gonna look like. So let's tear into this box and uh, just get a look of what this thing. Oh, tell you what, boys and girls. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Sticker time. Throw that on my safe. All right. The side. Let's open on this end. There we go. Ooh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Nice OD green color. <clears throat> Look at that. They've got the uh, action screws in there already, so you know exactly which one that you need uh, for the front and for the back. And so that is really nice. Polymer sides, all aluminum throughout. The grip on this is actually pretty stinking comfortable. The thing that I really like about this is, talked about ergonomics in the first episode, but you've got a nice thumb shelf right there. Whereas the Hunter stock, I mean, it was just uncomfortable to uh, really throw your thumb up, up, up there. You felt like the grip was loose and stuff like that. So this is really nice. They do give you one spacer right there, and you can buy, buy a multi-pack, which I believe is like, you know, you'll have to look it up. Go to MDT. And, uh, yeah, so you can extend your length of pole. Also, they've got, uh, it's on this side and that side. Yeah, <clears throat> they've got your Allen screws. You can raise and lower your cheek piece. So I'm excited to... Uh, put this thing together. All right, so got the handy dandy little uh, instruction manual on how to do that. Let's open the second thing. Second thing, I really like that grip, but I wanted something a little bit more 90 degree. 15 degree would have been fine, but I believe from black collar, um, <clears throat> this one is gonna hit the mark. So let's check that out quick. Maybe there's some free stuff in this one too. I mean, guys like stickers. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there's a sticker in there. And what you paid for it. It is the Priapus, Priapus grip. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna open this up. There's a couple of different options <coughs> that you can get for this. Sorry, allergies again, just suck. Um, a couple of different options you can get. You can see there's green, gray, and brown along with black. And so I wish they would have, I guess they do have the OD green. You can actually order um, replacement grip panels to go in there. So I could order if I wanted to the uh, OD green to go along with this. And so this came with black and it looks like, it's the first time I've ordered from this company before. I really like the angle of the grip. There's your, sticker but if you can see that 
you actually punch out the grip. This is black and then it adheres to the panels and so I will do that. But essentially that grip is going to be 90 degrees. 90 degrees on on the chassis and so that's gonna be pretty cool but I'll show you that after I'm done I don't know I don't know I kind of like kind of like this uh, this grip that comes on the MDT also anyway stay tuned this is gonna be a short video I'll throw the chassis or throw the uh, action up there throw the grip on and we will come back to you I gotta you know tailor that uh, <laughs> like the pole all right guys stay tuned Okay, are you guys ready? First, I discovered a little something. So this was the grip panels <clears throat> for that uh, black collar grip. Save this, pro tip. Save this because these can be used on a handgun to get uh, better grip. I plan on putting this on my Rival S on the back strap and the uh, front strap to uh, give me a little bit more grip on that gun and so if you've ever seen a rival s they're a steel framed they're pretty well checkered but a little bit more grip tape on there will actually uh, help with the uh with the grip a whole lot better all right so i am extremely jacked up about this because <laughs> i gotta be careful i don't break a light all right there it is absolutely gorgeous I think it added probably five pounds to the rifle. <laughs> the grip on it is super stinking awesome. It's got a lot of tactileness to it. The, real, the thing that I really like about this, which I think I already talked about, was the thumb shelf right there. So, I don't know what it is, but the action is much smoother on this uh, chassis than the uh, chassis, whatever you want to call it than the uh the hunter stock so very impressed with that um grip is fun fantastic one thing that uh people have complained about with uh some of the mags this is a magpul acs acis magazine is that they are hard to load and they don't drop for you but this one is uh loads up really quick really nice to slam it home and you're good to go so a magpul version works very well with that um, <clears throat> again, you can adjust your cheek rest and uh, length of pole is back here. You simply uh, take out the screws from there, add your spacers, and you're good to go. But uh, one thing that <laughs> I really noticed right off from the bat is once this is adjusted, you're able to pick up um, your scope, um, your reticle, a whole lot faster, a whole lot quicker than the other stock. And so I'm very impressed with this. The only thing I couldn't do at this point was uh, I thought this was threaded for a bipod um, swing swivel, swivel <laughs> sling swivel, but it's not. So I'm going to have to get a screw or excuse me, a bolt to get in there and uh, then I can put my swivel in there and then I can put my bipod on. But until then, um, it's going to work just fine. I plan on doing that sometime today. Um, so this is part two of the video. Part three is going to be a shooting video, so be watching for that. Make sure that you are liked, subscribed, hit that bell icon, and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the MDT Oryx chassis. It is one sick unit, and it probably added, I don't know, probably five more pounds to the platform. So that will be good in uh, recoil mitigation. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And I'm getting really jacked up to get this out to the range. So until then, see ya. Hey guys, sorry for the weird angle. Um, there's one thing, a uh, couple of things I actually wanted to bring up. One in the former Hunter's chassis. I always had trouble bringing the uh, round home, meaning feeding the uh, round into the chamber. I always seemed to have to back up slightly after half rounding it and then shove it all the way home. With this chassis, I've had really no issues with that at all. They all seem to uh, go in pretty smooth. So it's unsafe, trust me. 
Um, I do have a round in, but it goes in so stinking smooth. So I don't know if uh, there are some torque settings wrong with the uh, Hunter chassis or if it was something else, but uh, this chassis seems to feed round a whole lot easier with no impingement. And so that has made me extremely happy. The other thing that people have sort of complained about was the ability to uh, remove the bolt on many of these guns. Kind of cool. There, I was watching another video and this guy had his cheek piece, cheek rest, backwards. So this slot right here was on the other side. This actually is there. They put it there so that you can more easily remove your bolt. Your bolt slides back and get it out. With this... The Savage 110 model, um, I don't think there's really an issue with getting your bolt out because there's so much space between here and the uh, the rearward, rearward motion of the bolt. So basically with the Savage, you have to push down, finger, hold your trigger, and then pull it out. And uh, so there it is, two lug system. And so it's much, at least on the Savage, it's uh, pretty easy to get that bolt out. So, um, just thought I'd let you guys know that there is a functional um, reason why that little slot is made there, probably for the longer actions, I would guess. And so that should help. Maybe that's something they changed since some of the complaints came out. But uh, the other thing I'm really liking about um, this model, this chassis, is this right here. Um, let me see if I can get my stuff out of the way. And I'll show you this at the range. but. Basically, you're going to square up on your rifle that goes into your shoulder pocket and you can use your other hand with normal precision shooting and tuck that right up in there so that nothing is going to be going anywhere. This gun's not going to be going anywhere. Then you can flip your action open, reload your next round, and you should be right back on target. So, some really nice features of this chassis. I'm sure I'm going to find out more, but... Again, that's a really excellent feature. The shum, thumb shelf is excellent. I like the way they cut out the uh, cheek rest. You can remove your bolt a little easier. Um, but other than that, I guess for a lot of uh, PRS type shooters, this is another good, good, let me just get this round out. This is another good, this is a functional piece also. And what that is used for is if you have your bag Put your bag up underneath there, or you can use this as a as a stop. So you can put this up against a fence post or a fence railing, and square up really nicely for one of those shots. Tank trap, um, you can square that up with your tank trap, and uh, so that's just a nice little stopping point right there. Um, so you can get a more precise shot on target. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this part of the video. Yes. I was as I was playing around a little bit more with this chassis. I'm like, oh, I got to tell these guys about this. So um, anyway, so we'll get to the shooting portion uh, probably in the next few days. I'm really hoping to get out there today, but it's supposed to be like 100 degrees, and 100 degrees with humidity in Minnesota is like barf. So anyway, guys, again, hit that like button, <coughs> hit that notification bell, and I will talk to you guys soon.